Today we're going to do an unboxing and setup of the Reef Kinetics ReefBot. What's going on guys? Devin with Reef Dudes. Now if you guys are into the saltwater hobby, you're going to know that all these automated testers are kind of all the rage lately. Um, it's kind of the next kind of big step or level in reef keeping and I am super excited to have a ReefBot now. Um, so as you guys know, I've been running the Alcatronic for about a year or so now and that, that may be eight months, but um, it tests my tank every 12 hours, my alkalinity. Now the reef bot for me is going to fill in the gaps. The cool thing about it is you can test whatever test kits you want. So there's a big selection of off the shelf test kits. So whatever you want to test is very flexible. So super excited now. So we can do a bit of an unboxing and setup today. And then once I've been using it for a while, we'll do kind of a long term follow up review. Now this one is actually one of the display models that I got at Reef of Palooza. So it may not be a 100% regular unboxing as it was repacked and everything else, but nevertheless I'll show you guys kind of how to set this up. We'll take you guys along for the journey as we get it working and go in for the first time. Alright, we got the reef bot. The unit itself, very sleek looking little enclosure. And let's pop open the front and we got the rest of our stuff inside of it. So everything is packed inside nice and tight. We've got all these little foam blocks to keep everything from moving around. And inside of this is going to be all of our little vials. All right, so inside here we have our vials. So these are what we're gonna put our test kits inside of. And inside each one is a little tiny magnetic pill. So it's gonna sit just inside of here. And there's a little motor that goes back and forth along the bottom to stir it. Inside here, we got the quick stir guide. Open the box, hook it up to your tank, download the app, install the syringe, install your reagents. Now aside from that, the other boxes here should be our power supply. All right, so we have a mean well power supply, a very high quality brand, I like to see that. And all our dosing tubes. Right, so we got all of our tubes hooked up to the tank, wastewater, everything else. Uh, we got the reef bot itself, got our power supply. Now, if you're opening this for the first time, you click on that little menu on the top left and under bots, you'd hit the plus sign and hit start search. Now it will show whatever device on the bottom, you click on it and you would enter your Wi-Fi credentials and join it to your network. Now I already had this one joined so I'm going to stop search, go back. Uh, if I click on the bot, I call it shallow reef and we can see it's asking us which reagent is in each position. Um, so no chemical assigned. So now that we're at the step, we can start filling our vials and decide which reagents we want each one. Now, because I'm currently using the Elkatronic, it's testing my elk every 12 hours. Um, I'm also running a calcium reactor. So as long as my elk is good, I know my calcium's good. My mag is usually good. There is some mag rocks in there, but that's one that could sway a little bit. Um, so I kind of decided on this, I'm going to test magnesium, uh, nitrates and phosphates once a week, and that should be good enough. I mean, to me, there's no point testing it all daily. It's just a waste of money and reagent. So, um, for testing the nitrates, I went, decided to go with the Tropic Marin. And this is a little refill pack for the NO2, NO3. So I could technically test NO2 as well, but NO3 is the only one I really care about. Um, no point buying the full kit, since you, especially since you can buy this refill pack. So I think they kind of designed this one strictly for the reef bot, which is pretty awesome. For the magnesium, I do still have my Red Sea Pro test kit, so I might as well use that one. Um, seems like a pretty good solution. And I also have the Red Sea LG control kit. So that one has uh, the nitrate and phosphate kit. So that's what I'm going to use for my nitrates and phosphates. So Tropic Marine and then Red Sea Pro. Now they do actually come with a pack of little labels so you can make your own little stickers and say which one's which file. But I do have a label printer, so I'm just going to print those off. Next, we just label all our vials so we know which one's which. Now, how many test kits you can use on the ReefBot really depends on how many reagents each kit uses. Um, so we have eight slots, um, so that gives us, so with this kit actually, these three are about perfect. 
And now we just fill up the vials with the respective agent. So this one's Red Sea PO4. So we do have a bit left over we can use for some future refills on this bigger bottle. Now some kits, mainly just the Tropic Marin kit. We do need two kits actually. I only picked up one so I need to get one more just because the bottle C is a bit smaller. So just for your very first fill you need that extra one just to fully fill up the vial. And after that you should be good with just the refills. If you do look on the ReefBot site, it actually tells you how many kits of each you need to fill for the first time. And of course I read that after I ordered the first kit. Now how much reagent you use for each test really depends on your levels. You know, if they're testing and your levels are higher, you might use more reagent to get that color change. So how long they last, I mean you can look up and kind of get an average, but to know 100% for sure is really good, it's going to depend on what your levels are. So I'll likely just order an extra test kit of each, just have it on hand for a bit of a backup. Now we insert all of our vials into the reef bot and after that we'll load the app and tell it which one is in which position. We'll go back and open up our app and we're going to say tube 1. Now this one is the Red Seat Phosph PO4A. So we'll go to Phosphate, Red Seat Pro. Test you want to perform. Okay, so tube one is A, tube two is B. Got it. So save. All right, next we're going to add this one is Red Sea Magnesium A. So magnesium, Red Sea Pro, three, four, five. So that's already right. So A, B is in four, and C is in five. So it's already got that one figured out perfectly. So save, and the next text we're going to add is a Tropic Marin NO3, it's our nitrate test, so nitrate, um, so Tropic Marine, and it already knows A is in 6, B is in 7, C is in 8, perfect. So it already kind of figured out as we went which one is in which spot, so that's nice and easy. Go back to our dashboard, it knows everything is 100% full. And we are ready to hook it up with the tank and perform our first test. So to finish hooking this up, we need to provide it tank water, RODI water for kind of rinsing between tests, and a waste container. So what I did is I put a little Y adapter on my waste container from Elkatronic. So both testers can share the same container. Um, for filling the RODI container, I'm going to use the Aquamax dosing containers. Uh, I, like, I really like the look of these guys, so they're super slick little containers. Now these accept... RODI tubing for the connector. So what I did actually is I made a little kind of adapter tube and to do that I used RODI line and I from that I pushed in a chunk of the what is it 3 16 thin wall airline tubing and then I put the other end of that onto the silicone hose that comes with the tester. So um, so I got this one in so I got that connected so it can pull my RODI line from here and I'm going to make one more just to connect to the waste container. So I'm going to cut off another little chunk of line, thin wall tubing through there, Got that cut, and then I'll do another little cut above it. And with the hard air line, once you do a little cut, you can pretty much just score it and snap it. So we got our ODI line, I got the little hard wall tubing, and next we're just going to slide the silicone tube over top of it. I usually like to try and get a good chunk of hose over top just to make sure it's completely sealed, no chance of coming loose. And now we have our little adapter. Well, I'm going to leave these hoses long for now. I believe it's about it's a little over six feet. That's about six feet. Yeah, so over a little over a meter worth of hose. Um, I'm not going to cut them yet because I know I'm likely going to be moving my tank in the next month or two. So I'm going to just leave it kind of flexible. So I know it's not perfectly pretty, but it's going to do the job for now. So look at the side of the reef bot. The first one it wants tank water. So I'll get tank water hooked up. And this one, I'll have to find a way to attach it, but I'm just gonna push it down and it can suck from kind of the bottom of the water where all the other hoses are currently. Next is gonna be our RODI line. So this will be for rinsing between tests. Now the wastewater, it's just gonna go in this little splitter so they both share the same container. Um, the little Murloc adapter, I picked that up from Marine Depot for a couple bucks, so it's a nice easy solution. And RDI is just going to sit on top for now. 
Again, this is my temporary setup until I move the tank to its future location. I go to in here, I'm just going to go to plus, and let's do a manual task. So, and perform test. Oh, lights changed to green. Something's going to be happening. Did you come to watch the test tube, buddy? You come to watch the test tube? So once it's done doing your test, you get a pop-up notification on your phone, tells you what your results are. If you click on it, it will open up the app. And I can see my last test, phosphate 0.16 and magnesium 1160. So it might be a little low, so I did just top it off and add some. Um, I've been a bit of a slacker on testing, so having this automated is a dream. I have the Elkatronic testing my Elk daily, and I got the ReefBot testing everything else I care about. So honestly, this seems like the kind of dream setup. Especially if you're a bit of a lazy reefer or you're just a big tech junkie, automating stuff is pretty awesome. So when it comes to the reef bot, I mean initial impressions, so far I'm impressed with it. It's very well made, um, it's completely automated, recalibrates itself. I didn't even have to prime the hoses, I literally just hooked it up and it did all the rest on its own. Kind of went through the cycles, primed the hoses, so very cool. Um, very minimal setup at all, aside from filling the vials and running a couple hoses. So. Um, did a fantastic job with the app. The only one little hiccup I had is the very first time I was trying to connect the Wi-Fi, it gave me some error, so I rebooted it, tried again, and then that time it worked. And after that, it was all good. So biggest advantages for me with the ReefBot so far is I can use whatever test kits I want. I can use whatever ones I'm already using. I mean, two of the test kits I already had laying around the house, so I was halfway there. So I just had to order one more. So that is a huge plus. And if down the road I decide I want to, to test something else, I can swap out some vials and blow their new test kit. Um, average test kits, they can do about three or four tests it can hold. Depends on how many reagents each test use. So you gotta kind of look at your tests and you know pick ones, your favorite ones. And if you have one that takes less mixing, you can squeeze more in there. But three or four is the average. Most people can get four. I think I can test four things if I want to test nitrite too, but nitrite, magnesium phosphate are the three that I really care about. Um, so yeah, so so far, impressed. Overall, I'm digging it. I will do kind of a follow-up review in a month or two once I've been using it for a while. But initially, so far, so good. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, if you guys have got any questions on it, as always, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. And, 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 if you guys do want to pick one up, I worked out a little deal with them. So if you use code RKReefDews, you get 50 bucks off. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.